So I have the great pleasure of chairing the House Edu uh, Higher Education Committee, and today we had a hearing that allowed students to uh, give us a ch uh, perspective on what's happening on campuses around the state. I want to introduce you to some of them and give them a chance to tell you some of what they told us. Ashley, you're from Lane Community College. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah. So my name is Ashley Jackson. I'm the student body president-elect for next year, and I was born and raised in Eugene, Oregon. What did you tell us about some of the big challenges at Lane? Some of the biggest challenges are access to child care for student parents, accessing resources for sexual assault uh, survivors and victims, and the um, open educational resource initiatives being implemented on our campus to be the solution for textbook affordability issues. Claire, you're from the University of Oregon. Where, mm -hmm. where are you from outside of uh, campus? Um, I'm from Mountain View, California, which is right down the street from like Google headquarters. And I'm Very big good. in the heart of the Silicon Valley. Great. And what are you studying? I am a public relations major. Very good. Can you uh, recap some of what you told the committee this morning? Um, yeah, so something that I've really been involved in on campus particularly is sexual assault prevention and education measures. Um, and so I worked on a lot of different student groups regarding that and um, as ASUO internal vice president for the next year, I hope to continue to foster and support those programs and resources. So Helena is the president of uh, the University of Oregon Associated Students. We appreciate you bringing everybody together uh, today to be part of our, our hearing. What, uh, what message do you want us to, to remember from the hearing today? Yeah, well, one of the things I'm passionate about as the member on the Board of Trustees as well is shared governance and increasing communication between the students, the faculty, staff, and um, the administration, which we feel like something that hasn't really been open lines of communication these past few years. So we just want to work to make sure our doors open to students, faculty, and staff. So, Sean, you're also from the University of Oregon. You're the finance guy, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, I am the finance director of the ASUO. Very good. And what did you tell us today in, in committee? Um, well, I spoke about uh, tuition affordability. Uh, quite frankly, students are being priced out of um, a affordable um, higher education experience here in Oregon. And I really would, I'm, I'm, I know I'm the finance director and I usually speak in numbers, but I'm going to get away from the numbers here. And I really hope that people will look at um, really the people's perspective and the tough decisions that students are having to make between uh, paying for college and paying for things like food, um, living, uh, um, living expenses and other really uh, necessary expenses. Well, today was a really great hearing. We got to hear from all of the talent and possibility at, uh, at campuses around the state. It was terrific to have uh, the students' perspective to complement what we've been uh, hearing about uh, throughout the rest of the session. And I think it's uh, the beginning of, of a very productive conversation. We're looking forward to, uh, to more of that. And I hope you'll share your perspectives with us in the Capitol as well.